106.7 WIZ and Twisted Sister. We're not going to take it. Heard the Rolling Stones before that. Joe Vega taking you through your Wednesday rock and ride home. Got my friend Ben Barry from Mart Harding and Mazzotti on the phone right now. Hello, Ben. Hello, Joe. So uh, this is, you're going to love this story, dude. These are the craziest people in the world. It's a family uh, in Virginia. They were out for a ride one day and they um, ran over a garbage bag. And so they pulled over, and they're because they're good Samaritans, and they decide, well, let's uh, grab this garbage bag off the road. And there actually were two of them, and they throw them in the back of their truck, and then later find that those bags were filled with around one million dollars, and they turned it in. Wow! Yeah, well, they turned in a million dollars in cash that they found lying on the side of the road, and I'm just beside myself because there's no way I'm doing it. And you'd like a million dollars, right? Yeah, and, and I just—it's like my—it's like a fantasy that everyone's had in their life is, wow, I just found a million dollars on the side of the road. What am I going to buy now? Well, I, I think if this family had gone out and made some major purchases, it would have been a mistake. Most states have lost and found laws, and generally speaking, if you find something, you have to turn it in, usually to the police, and um, if somebody comes to claim that item, then it goes back to its original owner or, or the person who owns title to that. However, in a circumstance where you find something and you turn it in, you can make a claim to that property after a certain period of time. And so each state is different. Right. Uh, Vermont and New York both have laws like that, where if you found a million dollars, you should turn it into the police and then wait a period of time and make a claim that since nobody else claimed it or nobody else is missing it, that it should be yours. It's curious that the money that they found was in garbage bags. My understanding is that um, in this particular circumstance, the money belonged to a banking institution, and there is an entity or a business that has claimed ownership of that money. Oh, is that right? So someone's actually claimed that money. Yeah, I believe so. I think that there were either markings on the bands that held the money together that indicated who was the rightful owner. And so that money will go to uh, that particular entity. There may be some investigation as to how the money ended up <laughs> in, in the gross, middle of in the a garbage road. bag. So that, that will be interesting how that plays out. So is this family entitled to any of the money? They are not. They're not. There is no obligation on the party who lost that item to to pay for the services of the uh, people who found it. Well, I got to tell you, Ben, if I find a million dollars in cash. Call me. <laughs> All right. I will do so. Ben Barry from Martin Harding and Bizzotti. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Joe. Good talking to you. If you find a million dollars in cash, make sure you call Ben at 1-800-LAW-1010 or go online to 1-800-LAW-1010.com. All right, I'm out of here. Mel Allen's taking over. He's got music from Bon Jovi and Pink Floyd next.